Uh, today I had something come in the mail that I've been waiting to test for a long time. It's a, a remote microphone, and I'll explain this later. What I wanted to, what I want to try to accomplish with this, and there's no, no guarantee it'll work. This is how it comes in the package, and it fits the SJ6 camera. It's made by the same company, so you, you would think maybe there's a good chance it'll fit. It comes two different ways. There was a long, like a, like if you were gonna walk around talking to people thing, but I wanted the smaller one. These are about $15. And, oh my God, look at a nice little uh, shopping bag or something with spark plugs in. What does that tell you? Well, warranty. Oh, I don't think we'll be using that that much. Anyway, what's this little thing? It has a UBS port on one side, plugs right into the camera, and it's got the little microphone that I'll explain what I want to try to accomplish with this. We'll see, let's see if this... And had a suggestion always, save the package until you know it works, because I found some of these electronic things have to go back to Amazon, and Amazon is perfectly willing to take them back if they don't work. I understand why, because probably this is made for 15 cents in China, they can afford to they can afford to exchange a few of them. Anyway, this is the this is the thing I wanted to try now. I got I'm going to share the information that I have learned over the years and this is really if you're interested in shooting video, this is like a a uh, boiling down many many years of figuring out what works and what doesn't work. One of the things that I found and this only relates to motorcycle video shooting videos from a moving motorcycle these type of cameras they record beautifully the only problem is the wind noise the microphone is usually right out in the front of the camera the wind noise destroys any hope you have of using the footage so if you're not interested in the footage of course that's fine the little cameras that have the microphone on the side when you put them inside a box they don't record the sound well at all you take them out of the box which is what I do and just mount it to the motorcycle. They have various mounts that clip these in that go on your chest and your helmet and whatever. And you always have to search around to get the one that works for you. But these, the cheaper ones, the $14, $15 ones, the $20 ones, don't have the ability to take a remote mic. So the reason I wanted to have the remote mic was simple. I can plug this into the camera. Let's assume the camera's on the front of the motorcycle. And I can say, hi, you're at a Yankee game, and they're taking a beating, you know, or something like that. I can, I can talk, or I can say, hey, that's Luciano in front of me. Look, look, he just went off a cliff. Any, anyways, if you wouldn't see that. But anyway, that would be one ability that I have. But that's not the real reason. The real reason is I've lately, and I'm going to try to show how I do this. I'm trying to come up with an experiment that if I plug this into the camera and I put this at various places in the motorcycle, for instance, I can put it down inside the fairing where you'll hear the grrrr, the grinding noise. Put it back by the muffler and it clips right on. It's got a little uh, scissors clip. I can pick up a different sound from the muffler, that the muffler would be, the exhaust would be uh, more realistic. But again, gives me a lot of choices for $15, and of course the one choice I can just not use it at all if it doesn't work. But what I wanted to do, and this is why I, didn't ha I, did, I couldn't figure out how to do this. I was going to try to go out, and it's, not, it's raining today so I can't go outside. I can't do anything outside, but this came in the mail and I was excited about having it. So what I wanted to try to do is, I said, well, what's the difference? I can take and just turn the sound of a motorcycle running on any of my videos, you can hear it. And then I can take the microphone, plug it in, unplug it, plug it in, unplug it, and see if there's any difference in the sound. So that would be my test for today until we get a day to go out on the open road. But here's the thing. If, if, you, if, you ever, if you've ever tried to deal with wind noise, wind noise is something it's almost impossible to get rid of. They, this gets rid of it to a certain degree, a little foam. There's other ways of trying to get rid of it. But just as an example, the, the, some of the boxes that I have that I've cut holes in the side, and I, I, of course I can't find it right now, will be prepared. And what I had with this box, I even went out and did a test, and then I put tape over the hole to see what the difference would be. Well, 
it's a significant difference. You can't hear it. Or sometimes when you do hear it, it sounds like it's underwater or something. Here's one I cut a hole in the side, cut holes in the back. It just never gave me, I never was really satisfied that I had what I wanted. So now, I don't know if this is going to be the answer, but I have a little test that I'm going to do. I'm going to turn, go put the tripod over by the television, turn on the sound so you can hear the engines running, and then plug this in, unplug it, plug it in, unplug it, and see if it makes any difference. Okay, sometimes. Okay, so now the purpose of this, I have the microphone right here. I just put any video on. I want to wait until the point when it's going to come up with some the engine running sound that I can hear. Then I, well, here's what my my choice would have been. Okay, I got to make this maybe a little bit louder to start with. Again, I don't know how scientific this is, but now I want to see. The first test is how does it pick up the exhaust sound without the microphone. Well, this sounds pretty realistic. That's what that bike sounds like when you're riding it anyway. It's got a very low amplitude vibration, very deep throaty sound. Okay, now, again, if I had the ability, I'd put the microphone on this side, put it on the other side, put it in front of the bike, the back, just to see where it would pick up the sound the best. But again, we're still, we still have no, no, uh, well, what you, no, I don't even know if this is the right way to do this. What I want to do now, I want to shut this off and I want to put the microphone in. Now it'll be interesting to see, we have the microphone plugged in here. The microphone is plugged in and I want to see the speakers on this are behind the TV on both sides. I don't think it's going to make any difference in terms of, man, we don't even have a sound now. But I can compare this, look I'm at the one point in the video where there's no sound. This was a pretty funny moment in time here with these women. They were going to pick the turtle up and cook them or something. I don't know what the hell they were going to do. Alright, come on, let's hear some motorcycle running. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but just watch. He makes oh, look. Come on, let's go. I want to see him get run over. I'm not editing this out either. I just want to hear the sound. Anyway. Well, wait, we'll just give this a second until this picks up. All right, we saved one pearl. <laughs> for this is for anybody that doesn't know, this is my office in the cellar. There's priceless artwork that my grandson has made every, everywhere. And priceless turtles. Yeah, you're going to run. Come on. All right, here we go. This is what I want to hear. I'm holding the microphone right up in front. Trying to walk to one side to the other side. See, that's a very realistic replication of the sound when a bike is idling. A cross-plane crank makes a very unique noise. Here we go. That's what I like to hear when you back off the gas. Again, this is not really scientific. What am I talking about? But it'll be interesting to see if this works when we can get out on the open road. Anyway, but on a rainy day, you've, here we go. That's what I wanted in the, in the beginning. And we'll see what this sounds like when I play this back. Okay, now the interesting thing, this is going to be interesting because I'm going to do this without a tripod, is to mount this up inside the helmet. And I'm sure the first time you forget to take the wire off and you take your helmet off, you're going to strangle yourself. Anyway, this will be, again be an interesting test probably in a couple of days we'll get a chance to get out in the real world and see how this works and I got a one other cool little tip to show with this camera this camera this SJ6 cam has a unique feature that none of the other cameras have it has one button one button you turn it on you put it in the mode and it turns on and it turns off with one push of one button so that's very handy too when you're riding and you have gloves on and uh, you're freezing and sweating and whatever. Anyway, I think this is going to be an interesting test. So this is the, uh, well, not the final thing, but we have a lot of other things that left to play with, left to test. Hope you've enjoyed the video and all I can say is 
in our shop, it's, it's unending. If you've ever been to the shop, you know, it just never ends. We're always looking for things to experiment with. I may as well put a plug in for my upcoming restoration project for the FCR. So I hope you enjoyed the video, picked up some information, and thanks for watching.